Wondering how to use a campfire in Minecraft? This video is going to explain the crafting recipe, the items you can put on a campfire, and everything the campfire does. Remember, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to see when new videos come out. The first thing about the campfire, there are two different types of campfire. One is the normal campfire, and the other is the soul campfire that was added in Minecraft 1.16. There are some differences between the two that I will explain. The crafting recipe for the campfire is in the crafting table, three sticks, coal or charcoal, three of any wood, log, stem or stripped wood crafts into a campfire. For a soul campfire, the recipe is similar. The only difference is instead of coal or charcoal, it is soul soil or soul sand. The reason for soul sand or soul soil is because the only way to get soul fire is by igniting either block on fire. Campfires can be broken with any tool or by hand, but the quickest is the axe. If you break the campfire, any food on the campfire will be dropped. However, when the campfire breaks, it will drop two charcoal or for the soul campfire, a soul soil. Basically the fuel for the campfire. If you want the campfire to drop itself, use a tool with the silk touch enchantment. The enchantment drops the block itself instead of breaking it. Silk touch can be put on pickaxes, shovels, axes, and hoes. The soul campfire in the Jav edition will drop soul soil, even if crafted with soul sand. Another way to get campfires is by trading with villagers. With villagers there are 5 different levels, trading with them will gain them experience and level them up. At each level there are 2 trades that will be unlocked. The fisherman villager at apprentice level which is the second level, 66% and the price is 2 emeralds. Let's go through the basics of the campfire. In Java the campfire has a light level of 15 which is the highest in the game and the soul campfire has a light level of 10. In Bedrock, they are both 15 light level. When you place a campfire, it will already be lit. The campfire emits ember particles similar to lava, although Soul Campfire does not emit these particles. Campfires can be unlit by using a shovel on it, throwing a splash water bottle at it, or waterlogging it that is placing a water above the same block space. Rain will not extinguish the campfire, but it will emit extra smoke particles during rain. When unlit, campfires can be lit manually by using or dispensing flint and steel, shooting it with a flaming arrow, using or dispensing fire charges, blaze fireballs, and gas fireballs. The use of the campfire is to cook raw food similar to the smoker or the furnace. You can place four different food items on the campfire. Food items can also be placed on unlit campfires. Once finished cooking the item, it will pop off the campfire. Campfires also don't require fuel to cook food. Food items also take 30 seconds to cook compared to 10 seconds for the furnace and 5 seconds for the smoker. Although you can cook multiple items at the same time with a campfire. When the campfire is cooking food, small smoke particles will be showing on the food. If a campfire is extinguished while cooking, it resets as though the food was never cooked. Campfires will damage mobs standing on them only if lit. The campfire deals 1 damage and the soul campfire deals 2 damage every tick. The campfire does not cause you to catch on fire, nor destroy any items. The damage from the campfire is considered fire damage and is reduced by armor, resistance potion effects, and protection and fire protection enchantments. It can also be avoided by wearing frostwalker boots. Campfires can be used to harvest honey bottles or honeycomb from beehives or bee nest. To start the process, place a campfire underneath a beehive or bee nest. This will prevent the bees from the nest or hive being provoked, coming out and attacking you. To harvest honeycomb, use shears when the hive or nest has reached honey level 5. You can visually see this because the nest will be dripping honey and the texture will be different. To harvest honey bottles, use an empty bottle, make sure the nest is full of honey, and right click on it or hit the use button. Campfires will also produce smoke particles that float up around 10 blocks before disappearing. If you put a hay bale underneath the campfire, it becomes a signal fire and the smoke floats up to 24 blocks up. A block one above the campfire will block these particles. Also a trap door can be used to completely prevent the smoke from floating up. Smoke particles can be used in builds to create chimneys. Another difference between the soul campfire and the campfire is that the soul campfire can be used to repel the piglin mob. These mobs can be found in the nether in the crimson forest, nether waste, and the bastion remnant. 
They are afraid of the soul fire and the soul campfires. However, the piglin brute, which will be in the bastion remnant that will be added in the game in Minecraft 1.116.2, are not afraid of the soul campfire. <laughs> 